it is I, Vikvian, the ghost of questions that are going to be answered in the future. And even if it's not actually October, I can still make this joke, maybe. <laughs> Welcome to the October Q&A. Questions that were given in October and answered a little after October. Hey! After all, where would we be without the monthly installment of cues that I got A? Like this one. Ben asks, Vic, how do I break the fourth wall like you? Oh, uh, oh, it's easy. It's easy. Just watch. So, the first important step is you have to have four pieces of paper, right? And in order to be able to break the fourth wall, you just kind of have to, you just kind of have to, you just kind of have to, you just kind of have to. It's like asks, what is your favorite candy? Honestly, I, I really like Twizzlers. But if I had to pick something else, it'd probably be those little teeny tiny Sour Patch Kids. They're good because they come in like just the right size package where you have like yeah, like five or ten of them. And you're like, eh, that's a good amount of candy for today. And they're good. Max asks, do you have costumes for your cats? And if so, can we see Pebble in her costume? And I, I don't think we've ever tried to put our cats in costumes. And if we have, I really don't think they'd like it that much. It took a lot of effort to even keep Ziggy in a collar when he was a little cat. Like, he would, we would just find the collar lying around in like a random room a few days after we put it on. So I don't think they'd like costumes too much. Bro, if I could put a witch hat on Pebbles though, that'd be so cute. The French bassoon asks, what's your favorite D&D &D race? Okay, okay, okay. So me and my friends never finished the D&D &D campaign that we started, and I'm assuming we probably will eventually. But I think like half of us picked like elves just because they're like fun and I did too. It, it's kind of interesting to imagine being like this race that's like super ancient, but like they still have like a lot to learn. So I have mine as an elf too. I think they're cool. I like the elves. Takyu asks, question, do you play Zelda? Uh, not regularly. If so, what's your favorite game and character in the series? Uh, I like Zelda. And when I first played Smash, I didn't know that Zelda and Sheik were the same character. <laughs> I found that out like later on, like, like I don't know, maybe like a year or two afterward when I was like a little kid. But uh, the only Zelda game that I've owned and played was, I think, A Link to the Past on the Game Boy Advance? It was fun. I never beat it because I like just didn't have the big enough brain to like understand how to beat it. But I really would like to go back some point and like actually play Breath of the Wild because I would like to play Breath of the Wild too when it comes out because it looks really good. And I don't know enough about the series to play Age of Calamity, so I'm sitting here just twiddling my thumbs, being like, eh, someday I'll play Breath of the Wild. A couple of months pass. Someday I'll play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so uh, we'll work on that eventually. Booyah back says, Happy Spooky Month! Thank you, I say, from November. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being you've never even pressed the down arrow, and 10 being constantly during a match, how often would you say that you booyah back? Um, when I'm on stream, I'll say, uh, like a 4. Because <laughs> I'm really good at looking at the chat and missing the booyah for, like, however long it's around. And I'd say off of stream, like a 7 or an 8, I'm pretty good at booyahing when I'm like actually like playing the game without actually streaming. So I would say, like, like a, we'll go with an average of like a 6. Sounds good. Minty Doll asks, question, do you like to craft? Now, I do like to mine craft, but I do like to craft craft. I haven't done any real crafting in a long time, and I used to when I was young. I used to make a lot of little paper stars that I keep in that jar. I had it in one of my uh, Splatoon videos, the one about Team Star. But before that, I actually used to love to make bracelets when I was like, a little kid. I even did like <laughs> the silly little entrepreneurial thing where I'd like make the bracelets from beads that I bought at Michael's. And I would try to sell the bracelets for like 50 cents or something at like the playground. And it kind of worked. Like I, I made a few dollars off of that. Good job, Pastvic. And currently in my room, I have a lot of yarn because I really want to learn how to crochet. I actually wanted to learn to crochet when I was in the beginning of college, but the problem was that I didn't have time to stay at the crocheting and knitting club, so I kind of like was given needles and then never used them. And then I misplaced one and I never brought the other one back. And I don't know where the other one is now. <laughs> So I bought myself like a crochet hook and some yarn and maybe someday I'll be able to post a picture of a nice little scarf or something. I bought the yarn months ago. 
so we're working really good on that. We're doing really good on keeping to that. <laughs> Boobox says, Pooked over here. What's your favorite costume you dressed up as for Halloween? I know when I was like a little kid, I had like a ladybug outfit that I really liked. I don't know where it is or I don't even remember what it looked like, but I like remember enjoying it. So I'll say that because just imagining a small Vic in a little ladybug costume makes me happy. <laughs> Fizzle says, It's Pokemon time! Cue, what's your favorite Mario enemy? Besides the Bob Bomb? Okay, okay. So, first of all, I don't consider the Bob Bombs an enemy. They're good boys. But I do really like Venus flytraps and other kinds of carnivorous plants. So, if I had to pick a second enemy, it definitely would be a piranha plant. I just think they're nice. And I really like they're in Smash now. I don't play him, but like a friend of mine plays him and I like watching her play piranha plant. I feel like he's fun to play in Smash. And I feel like they just. They could like do more with piranha plants in the future. It'd be fun. I'm glad they're always like a recurring like common enemy in the games It's like to see them a lot and just enjoy them existing anything plant is really good Like it doesn't have to even be a piranha plant like any like leaf based creature in any game It's usually a big thumbs up for me. So piranha plant good Agua cat KO. Oops, that's not how you say that one. Agua cat uh, Agua cat co <laughs> says, "What is your favorite spooky season candy?" Well, your little candy emoji there has two of the three colors in good old candy corn. I I really like candy corn. I actually didn't buy any this year, which is like a sin. <laughs> But uh, I really do like candy corn. I used to buy like a big bag of it and I always like keep it in my backpack. And I know I like chaotically tweet about this too back in like 2017 or something. And I'd be like, yeah, look at all my candy corn that I got. And the problem would be but because I have like a big bag of candy corn and not like little like small servings of it, half of it would go stale and then just stay in my bag for days. And then I'd be like, oh yeah, these are here. I'm gonna throw them out now. <laughs> So buy your candy corn in smaller bags so you can eat all of it and all of its glorious honey flavored sugary goodness. Fish says all of these questions they uh they seem a little biased. <laughs> they say, do you like fishes based on looks? And have you had a fish? I, I do like fish. I used to watch lots of little nature documentaries where they like do stuff like looking at animals and fish and things. There'd be like ones where it'd be like, hey, look at the big expanse of clownfish. Look at all these colorful fish. If I go to an aquarium, honestly, I am one of those people that could spend a whole day like actually looking at the fish in the aquarium. Especially because like you can't take photos of them because you don't want to scare fish. So I can't like just use my phone and enjoy them from my phone. And I did have fish when I was younger. The only issue is that when we went to the pet store and got fish, we were kind of young and kind of dumb. And like the pet store people just kind of like recommended a bunch of fish to us. So me and my sister and my mom, we bought some fish and we put them in a tank. But some of them obviously like weren't meant to be friends with each other. And I think you know what happens when you put various species of fish into a fish tank and leave them be. We, we still had a couple of fish left over after that. Sidcraft asks, please help. Uh, my pro controller broke. We'll edit it fixed. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Brain says, if you could see any Nintendo crossover besides Smash, of course, what games and characters would you want to see interact? I feel like taking the idea of Pokemon and like putting them into the same universe as like a game like Monster Hunter or Xenoblade could be really fun. Just because like, like the ideas of both of them are at least like, you know, you have to like control monsters or like stop monsters. But it might be interesting to see like somebody be able to like have pet monsters like Pokemon and then use them in a way to fight characters like you do in like Xenoblade and Monster Hunter. I feel like that'd be cool to see. Anna asks, where were you when Green was killed in Electrical? Um, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, I just saw Red vent right before you walked in. So uh, how, how about you ask Red? I, I think he's looking pretty sus. Pluto asks, what decorations do you have for Halloween? Actually, uh, something we did last year and the year before and also this year was we have actual little uh, purple and orange lights that we put over like the garage doors at our house and also like little like purple and orange streamers, which actually makes it like perfect for the Halloween like fest. <laughs> we have a couple little pumpkins inside the house 
And now that Halloween is done, I still haven't taken any of the decorations down. Zun says, so you're gonna do a Splatoon 1 stream in November, eh? Uh, yes. Uh, when? I don't know yet. Probably in like a week or two. <laughs> is there a weapon you hate to play against, but you also like to use? P probably the Bamboozler, because I like playing the Bamboozler, and I feel like I'm at least decent with the Bamboozler, but I also have a lot of friends who are really good at the Bamboozler, so they just also will play it and then, like, obliterate me with it if I see them with it. I respect a good Bamboo. Avery says, speaking purely geographically, which Pokemon region would you want to live in? Honestly, it would probably be Hoenn. I guess growing up on Long Island, I'm just kind of used to being around the water all the time. And like, there's also Fortree City, which is just a giant like forest up in like tree houses and everything. And I never had like a tree house when I was a kid, but I would love the ability to like walk around in that kind of environment. So I feel like the Hoenn region has like a lot of things that I would really like to see. Captain says, if you could, would you? Could I put a video of my cats in this Q&A? Uh, sure. <laughs> Sled asks, question, any spooky or horrifying games you wanna try slash play? Or are you just a scaredy cat? Uh, let's let's say we have Phasmophobia, which is like brand new. I kind of want to play that. It looks like a lot of fun. But if I was to go back, I think I would just really want to play the Five Nights at Freddy's games. I've always seen there's like a ton of lore about them, but I know nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's. And I know it's like the kind of game where like it, it's not like relevant in certain ways anymore, but it is still relevant in like other ways. And I feel like I'd have fun playing the games for the first time. So I, I'd want to play it. I, I wouldn't mind getting spooked for a laugh, especially if it's like my laugh. Destiny says, what's the most infuriating thing that a teammate can do in Splatoon 2 by accident in your opinion? Uh, it's really easy for people to accidentally throw, if that makes sense. People do a lot of things where they'll hop off of ledges without looking, they'll pop a special when like the entire team is dead, even if we're like well in the lead. There are just things that people could do to be a little more patient that would let you win a lot more often if you did them. So if you feel like you're ever doing something wrong, try and slow down for a moment and you might find yourself doing a bit better. Max asks, what is the last image that you saved? Now I was hoping it was like a cat picture or something, but it's actually a picture I took of my setup after my stream on Sunday. I, I didn't have my tripod and I didn't know where it was and I didn't want to like waste any time like looking around for it. So when I was on stream, I took my camcorder and I just kind of like popped it on top of a tissue box. <laughs> and that's how I did the entire like green screeny stream just with just with that. Mark asks, why do you use the OG Inkling girl hairstyle? I think it's like when Splatoon 1 came out, there was only the one hairstyle for each gender. And I really liked the girl hairstyle. And even when Splatoon 2 came out, I still kind of like identified with the original girl hairstyle. I guess I have long hair, she have long hair, we have long hair, I keep the hair, never gonna change it. Karma says, if you could choose only one food that you could have for the rest of your life, what would it be? Now, it feels like it'd be really nice to answer this with some kind of like health food, but you wanna make sure that the thing that you answer this question with, and this is what makes this question like so intensive, is something that can cover like a lot of food groups. Something that you could even like pick apart maybe. If you need more of it on one day and less of a different food group on another day. So maybe you'd wanna get like some kind of like fried chicken salad. <laughs> uh, there was this fried chicken salad from Applebee's that I used to get when I was a kid and it has like lettuce in it, it has like tomato, it's got little like little sesame sticks, it's got obviously like the fried chicken. You know, if you have too much fat in your food groups one day, you could just, you know, pick off the fried bits from the salad. <laughs> but if I had to only choose like one like physical piece of food that I could like eat for the rest of my life, and uh, as like assuming that it was like enough to like sustain me regularly, hmm, maybe like eggs? Warlord asks, how, if at all, different is your video personality from your normal personality? And could you tell the kitties that I love them? I can do that. Hey, Pebble. <gasps> Hi. Did you know that I love you? Oh, yes, you do now. No. Okay, let's give him a little pet. 
I think he's resting, but I, I, I think you can hear that I love him. I love you, Tippy. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's really asleep. <laughs> oh, is that one eye open? <laughs> I love you, Tippy. I love you, Ziggy. I hope, I think he knows that I love him. <laughs> look, look at the way his hand, his head just like goes into my hand. Oh. Okay, back to the question. I feel like my normal personality, the main difference between that and like my video personality is that I'm like a little, a little more laid back. I feel like I just kind of ramble about things in a slightly different style than I do on like stream. Like I would say both on and off video, I do talk fast. I talk fast because I like to talk fast. But on streams, I talk fast with the intention of being able to interact with, like, as many people as possible. Whereas in the real world, I talk fast so I can just get a point across. Ethan says, what feasible update would you want to see in New Horizons? I, I don't know if it's been, like, confirmed yet or not, if we're getting Brewster back. But I really just would like Brewster back. I don't even like coffee. I just, it felt so, like, peaceful to go and, like, visit him, talk to him, get a little, like, friendship going on with him down there. I would like the cafe to come back. And maybe we could, like, decorate the cafe the way we want it. Could you imagine being able to bring all your, like, Animal Crossing friends down into your customized, like, cafe with Brewster there? How cute that would be. The Superstar Gamer asks, What is your most prized possession in your life? I don't know if I have anything that I would, like, implode if I didn't own anymore. But I think, like, one of the most important objects from my childhood was this about, like, one foot tall Torchic plushie. I kind of have always had it since, like, our first trip to, like, the Nintendo store back when I was, like, a little kid. And I think I continuously had it, like, in my bedroom or inside or in my covers until I was, like... 13 or so now I just stay on the table safe from the cats because I don't want it getting bit or I will uh, Not be happy <laughs> But it's a good plush Things I've obtained more recently that I care a lot about are probably all of my posters and things that I've gotten from LAN events Whether they're from Splatoon or just gaming conventions in general. I keep all of them kind of safe in a drawer I have a couple of them like hanging up on the wall in my room Like I can't go around and get my posters re-signed if I lost them so those are very important to me, too. Nate asks a very good question here. He asks, what do your cats do when you are asleep? And while I don't always know what, like, Pebbles and Ziggy are up to while I'm asleep, I know what Tippy is up to because Tippy has a habit of waking me up in the morning by destroying my stuff or knocking things down if I don't wake up fast enough for him. <laughs> like, I have, like, a ton of plushies on a table from, like, the plushies that I've collected since I was, like, a little kid. And quite a few of them... He will knock on the ground and like bite and I, I don't really like that. I don't like that at all. But other times what he'll do is he'll go onto like my nightstand and like just start knocking things over. I don't know if it's like on purpose or not. I think he just wants attention. But then there are other times where he'll like go out of his way and like break stuff like the little like old posters I have on the wall and I'm like no 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 no. No no no. It's a very good way to get me out of bed very fast. Shy Boy asks, Vic, what is the swoopiest thing you have ever seen? When I was in my teenage years, I used to really like the Discovery Channel, but eventually that kind of turned into the Investigation Discovery Channel, which is like the Discovery Channel, but for like crimes. And when you're like 13 and you like start ingesting a lot of like media about like crimes and like people getting killed and like everything like that, you kind of end up not wanting to watch that channel anymore. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the shows on there, but not for a 13-year-old. Mr. Malix asks, I'm relatively new to your channel, so how do the Q&As work? Do we put our channels... Mr. Malix asks, question, I'm new to your channel, so how do these Q&As work? Do we put our questions in the previous Q&A video to be answered in the next one? If so, is this question now in the next Q&A? And, like, I wasn't going to answer this one, but... <laughs> The way that YouTube just assumes I want to answer, they give yes and yes, both, which is again the, the same thing as yes and yes, and then yes we do, which I, I, are they saying that I am equivalent to a question that is getting answered in the Q and A? That me and the question will both be now in the Q and A? Because I, I guess that's true. <laughs> Nate says, hey Vic, I recently heard of the existence of a butterfly Pokemon named Vivian. Thoughts? Uh, that doesn't sound very real to me. It sounds like someone took the time to rip off my name. What is that, like, Papillon for, for butterfly or something? 
No, th that's a stupid name. That sounds like a Pokemon they'll put in Gen 9. Shuby asks, how did you get all your cats? All of our cats are adopted. Tippy in particular was actually a foster cat that we picked up. He was the only one left from his litter. I really don't know how our mom ended up finding information about him, but we have him now, so yay! <laughs> Chuck asks, would you rather be Luigi, Mario, Toad, or Peach for the rest of your life? I feel like, I feel like I'd be okay with being Peach, because it seems like, even though she gets captured a lot, nothing really bad happens to her most of the time that she is captured. And sometimes she does get to do like the cool things, like, I know that like Super Princess Peach never got a sequel. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but like, that looks like fun too. I don't think I would mind being Peach. She's also seemingly pretty tall, which sounds like a really big W. Random user says, is it just me, or do you almost always dream in third person perspective? Now, I was gonna answer this one and be like, yeah, yeah, you only dream in third person, but I feel like I've had like moments of dreams at least, where like I've dreamed in like the first person. I remember there was this dream long ago that I had where I was like walking down the road and it was like this weird conglomerate of like the normal highway near my house and then also like generic Long Island Highway. <laughs> And like I ended up walking into like this grassy field and I remember having like, this very very specific image of like me looking at everything in first person and I was like at like a campus like a college campus but it was like my brain's imagining of what my sister's college campus would be which I had never been to and my brain like decided it was like just gonna be like a crescent of various buildings on a grassy field which doesn't even make sense because like college campuses have to have like roads and things for cars this is what my brain was thinking about and I was like okay okay cool and like then the dream like went back to third person after I was done like exploring the area it was kind of like a video game where like you know you like have the camera pan over the entire area and then it like goes back to your character that you're playing as in the dream it, it was really weird <laughs> But I think besides that, most of my dreams have been in third person. I feel like I want to like have like a dream journal or something that so if I have more dreams, I can remember them. Like I had a dream the other day, which was like a repeat of a dream I had a long time ago. And in the dream, I was like self-aware that I've had this dream before. And I remember that like I ended the dream pretty much. So I was like, oh, this thing is going to happen. And then it happened. And then I woke up. But do you know what you can do in first person? You can use your own brain to think of questions for next month's Q&A, which will be in November, like this one. If you didn't get to be a part of this one, don't worry. I do a Q&A every single month in the last Thursday or so of the month. You better hurry up, or you might start losing brain cells like our dear friend Olive over there. Come on, go. Please get out of here, and can you take a piece of candy from the bowl when you leave? Because I still have a bunch of it left over from Halloween. I, I bought too much. Uh, bye!